Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really, really, really highly requested video. So many of you guys have been asking me to do this video and I have done one before, way back in April when I had like 300 subscribers and now I have like 3,500 subscribers. But this video is just a how to start a YouTube channel video, like how to start a successful YouTube channel. Obviously, I don't have a thousand million billion subscribers. I have 3,000 and I'm so happy with the amount of subscribers I have. I'm so grateful for actually having people watch my video. I've done YouTube for a few years now. It's just a bit of fun and people actually watch my content which is really really cool but so many of you guys have asked how do I do it? How do you do YouTube? Because it's not so easy as some people think. Like you think oh yeah I'm just gonna get paid for it. Like I'm gonna just start a channel and get paid like that's what most people think. But the amount of effort you have to put in to get to the point where you do get paid is crazy and you have to do it because you enjoy it not because you just want to get paid getting paid is just something that goes along with it as well as loads of opportunities so i hope this video is helpful to anyone who is considering starting a channel so if you are thinking about starting a channel i definitely would just because i think that it's a great opportunity you can meet so many people get more confident yeah it's just a good thing to do so if you really want to start youtube just think about things how often are you going to be able to upload if you can't even upload one video a week don't bother if you can't be committed you're not going to earn subscribers this is like the biggest thing for me when i was doing youtube before i started growing i was stuck on like 100 subscribers for ages because i would upload like once every two months no one is going to want to subscribe to someone who doesn't upload because what's the point? If you're committed and you can upload once or twice a week or however much you want, then people are actually going to want to subscribe to you because they know there's a video coming that day every week. Definitely think about how much time you have to film videos and edit videos and put effort into your video. The amount of videos I've filmed and edited and just seen and I just... They're not up to the standards that I want on my channel and I delete them. Like, it's just like that. Like... Only put things on your channel that you want people to see, things that you are proud of and things that you want everyone to see. Another thing is be original. Don't try and be another YouTuber. Don't try and be like, oh, this YouTuber has loads of subscribers. I'm going to be like them so I can get a subscriber. It doesn't work like that. You'll get like loads of hate for it because if you're not original, then it's kind of boring. Being original on YouTube is really important because then people are going to be like, oh my god, I love this person because they're so different and they're so like themselves. If you are trying to be someone else, everyone's going to catch on, everyone's going to notice that you're fake, so just don't do that. By the way, my voice is kind of weird because I have a cold right now. I've had a cold for like two weeks. I'm low-key dying. I think I might have the plague. Another thing is that you've got to be prepared for people to find out about your channel. <laughs> this was definitely hard for me because when people started finding out on my channel, I was so anxious about it. Like, I didn't want anyone to know about it because I was like, oh my god. But at the same time, I did want people to know about it because I wanted to tell them. But, like, I just didn't want to go out to people and be like, oh, hi, I have YouTube, come subscribe. Like, no. People will find your channel, probably in their recommended or whatever. They find it, okay? It's going to happen and some people will be supportive, some people won't. And if people aren't supportive, then headbutt them. Because if people aren't supportive, then they're clearly, like, not good friends of yours. So, like, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to be all inspirational here and it's not working. But what I'm trying to say is if someone's not supportive of your channel, then they're not worthy of being in your life. So it doesn't really matter because if you enjoy being on YouTube, you enjoy making videos, they're the ones who are kind of just irrelevant they're irrelevant just forget that one thing that you need to think of is when you put a video up on youtube anyone can see that and you've got to be prepared for everyone to see that so don't be uploading videos when you're practically naked or videos that you don't want your friends or family to see because if they find it <laughs> Make interesting videos, make different videos. Don't rely on the popular videos to do it. I mean, do popular videos because they got more views. But, like, when you start getting subscribers and stuff, start putting your own stuff in as well. So, like, don't always do exactly what another beauty guru is doing. Or don't do exactly what someone else is doing. Do your own thing. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and be like, you must have a professional camera because I literally film on my iPad Air too. Just don't film on a webcam. Film on, like, an iPad and iPhone. Pretty much everyone has an iPad and an iPhone now so and get iMovie on it and some editing software and then you're ready to go just spend hours editing your videos get the best lighting i film in front of my window which is why the lighting is kind of bright a lot when you film videos you have to have a specific time to film them like you, 
I film between like maybe 10 in the morning and maybe like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. That's my filming time. Right now it's 11.24 so it's still bright outside. My camera just went black. You can get studio lights and they're really good for your videos because basically you can film any time because they're bright lights and I really want some of those for Christmas but I don't know if I'm going to be getting any of those for Christmas but I know that I'm going to be getting an iPad tripod. Tripods are really cool because basically you can film anywhere in your house instead of this one place I always film because I swear literally this is where I always film and it's kind of boring so I want to film in other places that might look cuter um, so I can do that for Christmas and I really really want some studio lights so yeah. some tips you won't get paid straight away it will take you ages to start getting paid by YouTube and when you do start getting paid it will only be a little bit you won't be getting paid millions on but when you do start getting paid like there's this there's an amount that you need to reach before you actually get paid that money so it does take a lot of time be confident on camera try to learn to be confident because if you're all shy people are going to be like well this is really awkward to watch and it's kind of a bit like why you're really you're really um shy be bold be your character like that you are be who you are on camera because then it's great <laughs> you will get hate at least I do get a lot of hate. Hate is something that I literally don't care about anymore because I read the comments and laugh. It's got to the point where I laugh because I find it so funny that people spend their time hating on a video. Um, and I mean, with the positive with hate comments, you can make hate comment videos with them. So like, you know, don't let hate comments like stop you from doing videos. Haters are your motivators. That's really cringy and yeah <laughs> make social medias to do with your youtube so that people can kind of get to know you outside of your channel so i have a youtube instagram a youtube twitter and a youtube snapchat so people can get to know me outside of youtube as well as on my actual channel i think that's pretty cool because then they'll actually get to know you as a person and they'll be like oh my god this person is so cool i want to be friends with them and then they'll subscribe and follow your social media. Make your videos stand out. Like, literally, be original. Because on YouTube, the amount of YouTubers there are, it is hard to be original and it's hard to actually get noticed because the amount of videos on YouTube is crazy. So, edit your videos in a different way to everyone else. Try to be original. Try to think of original ideas. Because originality is how you're actually going to get, like out of everyone like how you're actually going to be noticed because otherwise everyone should be like oh this girl is so basic like they're not really going to want to subscribe because they're probably subscribed to someone just like you you must and i mean literally low key, like think of a really original username that no one else has and that isn't like um zoella number two like don't like just pick an original username my name is officially lucy i've made so many usernames on this channel and i had to like delete them because someone else had the same name as me be original and have pick your own name preferably have your actual name in your username so people know who you are and yeah don't be officially something either because that's just not really original is it send good vibes to people who watch your videos if you're going to be all moody and kind of like so i don't really like this powder like if you are really boring and kind of moody and kind of like rude in your videos people aren't going to want to subscribe so be positive and happy and kind to people who watch your videos reply to comments because those comments are the people who are getting you where you are who are actually commenting on your videos so reply to them unless they hate comments don't reply to them just make a video about it make sure that your profile picture is a really nice photo of you because that is what people are going to see when they go on your channel and also make a really cool channel art quite original um and really really cool there are actual like templates for the channel art i would recommend having a really cool one i, I like my channel art to be honest i made it myself you can get other people to make it for you make sure you're set to one certain type of videos on that channel you can always make other videos if you like gaming and beauty don't make a gaming and beauty channel in one because people aren't going to unsubscribe to that because maybe some people don't like the gaming or some people don't like the beauty so if you're gonna if you like both things if you like beauty and gaming make two different channels make a beauty channel and a gaming channel because no one's going to want to subscribe to one that's just the same do you know what I mean? Like, my videos aren't beauty related that much, but they kind of are. Like, I could be classed as a beauty guru, but then again, I could be classed as just a normal YouTuber that does random videos. I don't class myself as a beauty guru, but my videos are kind of like beauty related. 
make your first few videos really popular videos and that's how you're gonna get views and stuff um i know i said don't really make popular videos but make sure like you gotta start somewhere so i would recommend doing some popular videos first but before you start doing videos film a few like test videos edit them get used to editing get used to being in front of the camera so that when you actually do make youtube videos you're confident and people are gonna be like wow this girl is confident i want to be like her i want to subscribe to her and also make sure if you're going to start a youtube channel you really want to do youtube because it's kind of obvious when you can see a youtuber who puts like no effort in their videos who you can tell doesn't really want to do youtube to someone who loves youtube who puts so much effort in their videos and it is really clear to tell the difference and you're obviously going to want to subscribe to the person who wants to do the video i would also recommend one of your first few videos to be facts about you so people can actually get to know you and want to subscribe to you and be like this girl is cool i'm gonna subscribe to her i like her she's like me you know that's how people are gonna think so that's all the tips i can think of for you guys i really hope you enjoyed it give a thumbs up subscribe comment and be original start a channel enjoy making a channel and yeah thank you for watching bye